Gina Haspel spent most of her career at the CIA undercover, so there isn't much video of her. But as she prepares to try and take the top job, we are going to see a lot more of her and hear much more about her past. She was in charge of the facility in Thailand, codenamed Detention Site Green. The Senate has detailed what happened to captors there, like Abu Zubaida. He was waterboarded 83 times, beaten by having his head slammed into a wall, deprived of sleep for days. He was kept in a coffin-sized box, possibly with insects, for more than 11 days and held in a small box less than a meter tall for 29 hours. The report also says that Abid al-Nashiri was held and tortured at the same site. According to reports, she was clearly in charge. According to one CIA cable, quote, only the detention site Green Chief of Base would be allowed to interrupt or stop an interrogation in process and that the Chief of Base would be the final decision-making authority as to whether the CIA's interrogation techniques applied to Zubaida would be discontinued. <laughs> Zubaida had to be revived once after waterboarding. The torture didn't stop. Human rights groups are outraged by her nomination. So the idea that she would be put in charge of the CIA uh, should send shivers of terror through most people who care about uh, international law. This is a woman who is complicit directly in the torture of two detainees in Thailand. And then there's the chief of staff of the counterterrorism center back in Washington as they rendered dozens and dozens of other detainees, some of them merely innocent uh, people who were swept up. She'll have to answer for more than that. There were videos of some of that torture. Haspel reportedly signed the directive to have them destroyed. All of this will be a big debate when she comes before the Senate to try and get confirmed. Democrats will be under pressure not to vote for her, and if that's the case, she can only afford to lose one Republican vote and still get the job. Still, President Donald Trump is sending a message with this nomination, just like he said on the campaign trail, he's fine with torture and also apparently fine with promoting those involved with it. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.